Today, I'll present to you seven different digital product ideas that you can create using AI tools. Some of these products are capable of generating a profit of over $34,000 in just one month. Also, there is a lot of variety among these ideas, so there is a chance that you will find something that sparks your interest. When creating digital products, the profit margin is roughly 91% and the work is almost entirely passive. Since these digital products are not widely recognized and relatively untapped, there is plenty of potential for creativity and profit. So let us delve into the first idea on this list, which happens to be the most peculiar, generating patterns using AI. So I found this online store called Sweet Shop Design and they're selling digital download patterns. These patterns are really useful for making printable papers, but you could use them for whatever you want. Now this store has only about 38,000 sales and they only sell their pattern packs for $2.25 each. But even with those numbers, they have probably made around $80,000 in total. There's another store called Papers by Helen that has even fewer sales, only about $5,900, but that's still about $15,000 in money earned passively. And she only has 39 listings. Now, even though this might not make as much money as some other ideas in this video, it's still really easy to create these patterns. Basically, we can use AI to create patterns for us. That means we don't have to do any of the hard work ourselves. There's this software called Midjourney, which is an AI that can generate images based on prompts. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with it by now. And there's a trick that not many people know about. You can use Midjourney to create seamless patterns. So here's an example prompt that I gave to it. The first part is where we choose the things we want in the pattern, and the second part is where we use special keywords for AI to create a pretty image. I tried this myself and got some cool patterns that I really liked. And I don't think these are too bad at all. The best part is that Midjourney always makes a seamless design. Now, once we have our pattern, we can use a website like Photopea, which is a free Photoshop alternative, to turn it into a new pattern. This lets us use the pattern again and again and make it bigger or smaller as we want. We could even save this file and sell the pattern on Etsy as a digital download. I made some really cool patterns by following the prompt from earlier and it only took me a few minutes. And you'll notice in this video that I talk about Etsy a lot. That's because it's a great place to see what kinds of products are selling well. By looking at the sales history, we can get an idea of what people like and what they're willing to buy. So that brings us to idea number two, which targets the Etsy demographic almost perfectly, selling wedding resources. One shop called A Wild Bloom Designs has made almost $2.7 million by selling digital downloads of things like wedding resources. They have lots of good reviews from things like their wedding invitations, even though their designs are pretty simple. Another shop called Twist Stationery has similar designs and is also doing really well and is in high demand. In fact, they were one of the top 100 sellers on Etsy in the last 30 days with almost 12,000 sales. That means with their average price for an item at $4.22, they made around $48,179 in just one month. Now all of this is great, but how can we use AI to break into this market and automate as much as possible? We can use a couple of different tools in combination. Midjourney and Canva to help us make minimalist wedding invitation templates quickly and easily. I generated the same prompt a few times to get more options and then upscaled the images that I liked. Okay, so we have an image that we want to use as a template, but it has some scribbles on it that we don't want. No worries, we can fix that. We'll use a website called Photopea in order to use a tool called Content Aware Fill. This tool will look at the surrounding pixels of the scribbles and fill them in with matching colors and textures. Once we've cleaned up the image, Image, we'll bring it to Canva. We'll add in text boxes and other elements to make the template look nice and professional so that it's now usable for customers. So in all honesty, I wasn't sure how to arrange the text boxes, so I asked ChatGPT to help me with that. ChatGPT suggested where to place the text boxes in Canva. With AI doing most of the design work, this idea saves time and effort. However, there's still some work left for us to do manually, such as removing some strange text and turning the image into a template. So AI can take care of of about 65% of the work, but we still need to do some things ourselves. To start this business, you'll need to pay for two tools, Midjourney and Canva. Midjourney costs about $30 a month and Canva costs $13 a month. So in total, it's about $1.43 per day to run your business. This might seem like a lot, but it's important to invest in your business to make it successful. I'll give this the difficulty score of seven out of 10 because there's a bit of a learning curve to use tools like Photoshop or Photopea. However, once you learn how to use them, the rest of the work is pretty easy. This next product is what I first started selling on Etsy a long time ago, and if I had the incredible assistance of AI, I would have seen results way sooner. So the third idea we have is generating guides. More specifically, real estate buyer and seller guides. 
These are like little booklets that help people who want to buy or sell a house understand the whole process. Real estate agents can give them to their customers to help them out. There's this shop called Real Estate Templates Company that has sold over 40,000 of these templates and made a lot of money. Probably around $244,000 based on their average price of $5.99. Some of their templates cost even more than that, so they might have made even more money. But they don't just sell real estate templates. They sell all kinds of things, like checklists for cleaning Airbnb places, guides for taking pictures, and templates for cookbooks and recipes. Almost all of their stuff is just text written with a creative font. So how could we use AI to automate this kind of product? We can ask ChatGPT to help us write portions of text for each section. So I asked it what I should include in my real estate buyer guide, and it gave me a breakdown of what I should include. This could be helpful for making guides for other industries too, like Airbnb welcome guides or cleaning checklists. It's an advantage to create resources for an industry that you're familiar with, but it's not necessary. The AI can help you write guides for things you may not know much about. For example, if you don't own an Airbnb, the AI can still help you create a guide for it. The important thing is to know what information your target audience needs and ask the AI to provide you with that information. Now you might be thinking, the AI only completes about 70% of the work, and you're right. You still have to take all that text and put it into a program like Canva or Word and make it look good. And depending on whether you use Canva or not, it could cost up to $13 a month. But this is still a pretty cheap way to start. However, the difficulty level is an 8 out of 10 because if you're not familiar with the industry you're creating guides for, it can be hard to include all the right information. The good news is that ChatGPT generates most of the information for you, so all you have to do is make it look nice. Idea number 4 is one of the most profitable, and it's all about creating logos and selling them on Etsy. This shop here on Etsy charges $10 for a pack of logos, and they've sold over 52,000 of them. That's over half a million dollars. The logos are simple, but they still look nice. You can find a lot of the design elements, like watercolor marks, on Canva already. Another shop called Logo Lane makes fancier logos for a fancier audience. Their logo packages cost between $39 and $130. They've only sold about 13,000 of them, but that still means they've made between $520 and $1.6 million in profit. You can make good money just by selling your logo designs to businesses and individuals who need them. You can sell them on websites like Etsy, Fiverr, and Creative Market. And with today's technology, you don't need to be a graphic designer. Midjourney can help you create logos. I asked ChatGPT to provide a list of businesses I could design logos for, and this is what it came up with. For example, I went back to Midjourney and gave it my own prompt, which was for an icon of a paw print or a cute cartoon animal, and I was blown away. Midjourney never ceases to amaze me as it continues to progress and advance. To see success with this business model, it takes practice to become good at creating good prompts and using Midjourney effectively. Learning how to communicate with AI can take some time, but it's worth it because it's faster than making things from scratch like a logo. Some people might think, why pay for something when you can generate it yourself using Midjourney yourself? Well, not everyone knows about this option, and it can take practice to get good at making prompts that give you the kind of images you want. Like with anything, there's still value in using Midjourney for speed and convenience. However, it's not perfect. Midjourney can sometimes make logos using this strange-looking, incoherent writing. If you want to make it look better, you can use a tool like Photopea or Photoshop to erase the strange text and replace it with something else. It might take some time to learn how to use these tools, but with a little bit of skill and practice, you can create something that looks like this to something that looks like this. The AI can do most of the work, about 80 to 91%, and you'll only need to pay around $30 a month for the tools you need to make this work. The difficulty score for this business is a 7 out of 10 because crafting the right prompts can be challenging and you'll need to learn how to remove any strange text that the AI creates. And if you wanted to, you could add this next idea to the exact same store because these two ideas go hand in hand. And that's by creating business cards. It might not sound very exciting, but it can still bring in a lot of money. Remember the Logo Lane shop we talked about earlier? They charge an extra $20 for a simple business card design. And there are other shops like Trendy Fox Studio that sell business card templates for $5.60 each. Even though it's hard to know exactly how much money they make from business cards, it's clear that they're a big part of their sales. You could sell business cards on their own, or as an add-on to a logo design. Either way, it's a good way to make money. 
One cool thing is how easy it is to create designs using AI. You can ask Midjourney for different business car designs and it'll create images that you can use for inspiration. It'll create normal images and this is what I use to create business card templates. However, it's not just as simple as that. After generating the image in Midjourney, you have to bring it into Canva and replace the areas where there should be text with text boxes so that when you sell the business card, they can be used as a template. You also need to add any extra elements like lines or graphics. So basically, you have to recreate the entire business card in Canva after using Midjourney to come up with the design. Although this process isn't the quickest, it only takes a few minutes and can be a great way to make money by selling the templates you create. Using AI in this way can take care of about 60% of the work, with monthly costs of around $43 for the Midjourney and Canva subscriptions. The difficulty level of this task is rated at 4 out of 10 because it's insanely easy to make these templates. What might be the most boring idea we'll go over today is idea number 6, creating resume templates. This is actually a really good way to make money without doing much work as it's quite passive. There is a shop called Get Landed that sells basic looking resume templates and they have generated a staggering $855,000 in lifetime sales. Other shops such as CoResume and Resume Studio Group have also made a significant amount of money from selling resume templates, with tens of thousands of sales resulting in tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. When you're setting up a shop on Etsy, one thing to remember is that having more listings can increase your chances of making sales. When it comes to being successful in making sales on Etsy, it's all about volume. And the good news is that you can be as creative as you'd like when you sell with what I'm about to show you. So here we go. I use ChatGPT to create resume templates that people can use to get hired. ChatGPT can help you come up with useful sections for the resume that will help guide your customers. It can also help you create sections of text that work well with the applicant tracking system, otherwise known as ATS. You'll want to keep in mind that too many graphics can confuse the ATS. I would target people who are looking for an ATS-friendly resume with simple text designs like these, and people who just want the best-looking resume templates with designs like these. I came up with a bunch of cool resume templates using Midjourney that in my humble opinion look pretty good. This is great because I didn't have to worry about copying anyone else's ideas. By combining Midjourney with Chat GPT, I can be as creative as I want to be. With this method, the AI does about 70% of the work, including generating creative ideas and writing filler text. But you'll still need to build the actual templates just like you would with business cards or wedding resources. To use Midjourney, it costs $30 a month. I'd say that this idea is of medium difficulty with a rating of 5 out of 10. Okay, so I think I've definitely saved the most interesting idea for last because idea number 7 is selling product mockups. You might be wondering what a mockup is. Is. Well, when people are selling digital products like art or designs, they need a way to show what their product will look like when it's printed or used. That's where a mock-up comes in. It's a digital image that shows what the product will look like in real life. There are some shops on Etsy that sell just these mock-ups and they're making a lot of money. For example, this shop has sold almost 35,000 simple frame mock-ups and I think they've made around $185,000 in profit. Another shop called Ratty Tank has sold 94,000 mock-ups and probably made around $384,000 in profit. They sell all kinds of mockups, but some of their most popular ones are for these mug mockups. We can use AI to create similar looking mockups. If we go back to Midjourney, we can ask it to create an image of a mug on a specific type of background. Then, we save the image and use a free website called Photopea, which is a free alternative to Photoshop to fill in any parts that look weird. We can do this for other types of products too, like posters. After about five minutes of work, we can turn basic mock-ups into cool looking ones that people will want to buy. There are many other ways to make money using AI, and you can find more of these in the future on this channel. But if you'd like to learn how to make passive income with ChatGPT and Leonardo.ai, click this video right here.